morning, children. Good morning, sir. Dear children, do you wish to listen to an interesting story? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Now the story is taken from Unit One of Eighth Class English Textbook. Do you want to know the title of the story? Yes, sir. The name of the story is the best Christmas present in the world. What is the best Christmas present in the world? Let's learn it before you read. What is it going to be? There are some days or periods of time in the history of the world that are so significant that everyone knows and remembers them. Dear students, history ranges even to thousands of years, but only a few days are remembered by us, and they are said to be significant dates. The story you will read mentions one such date. An event, a war between the British and the Germans in 1914. Can you guess which war it was? Dear yes, students, as you have been said, there are some significant dates in the history, and this particular period or a date is mentioned here. And this is the war between the Germans and the British. The war broke out in the year 1914. Do you guess the name of the war? The war is none other than the First World War. The First World War held between the years 1914 and 1918. And now let's go through the story. I spotted it in a junk shop in Brickport, a roll-top desk. There is a narrator here. The narrator is narrating the story. Where is he now? He is in a junk shop. What do you mean by a junk shop? Junk shop is a place where old goods are sold off, and the narrator is observing a roll top desk. It's something like a new word. What do you mean by a roll top desk? Roll top desk is a kind of a writing desk that consists of so many groups in it. The man said it was early 19th century and all. Oh my God! The roll top desk was made in the 19th century and was made of oak. Oak is a kind of a tree through which wood is obtained. I had wanted one, but they were far too expensive. I actually wanted one roll top desk. Oh my God, they are quite expensive. This one was in a bad condition. The roll top in several pieces, but the one that I have seen. Uh, Is not so in a good condition. It's in bad condition, and that's why it costs rich. One like clumsily mended scotch marks all down one side. As I have been said, this roll top desk is in a bad condition. One leg was clumsily mended. So one leg might have been broken some time ago, and it was mended clumsily. It was going for very little money. So uh, I got this uh, roll top desk for a bit very little money. I thought I could restore it. Yes, I'm confident that I can restore this roll top desk. So I can make some repairs. By then, the roll top desk would be in a good condition. Then it would be a risk, a challenge. What is a risk and what is a challenge? Buying this roll top desk is a risk and challenge. But I had to have it. Under any circumstances, I would buy it. I paid the man and I brought it back to my workroom at the back of the garage. Finally, I paid the money required for the man and I got the roll top desk and I brought it to the garage and started repairing it. I began work on it on Christmas Eve. It was the day of Christmas Eve, a day before the Christmas. I removed the roll top completely and pulled out the drawers. Uh, I just removed the roll top completely. And remove the drawers. What are drawers? Drawers are all little compartments inside the roll-top desks. So I uh, kept the drawers out. The veneer had lifted almost everywhere. Here we witness one more new word. That is veneer. V e n e e r. Veneer is a kind of a plastic sheet. It is used as a decorative item for the wooden items. It looked like a water damage to me. Both fire and water had clearly taken their toll on this desk. My God, this desk, as you have been said, completely in a clumsy condition. Since the fire and water struck this desk, 
the desk is situated in a poor condition now the last dryer was stuck fast oh my god i wanted to open the last dryer but uh, it stuck fast it, it it's not coming out that easier uh, i tried all i could uh, ease it out gently i tried it gently in the beginning but it couldn't work out uh, in the end i used brute force i used uh, uh, a lot of uh, pressure to open it and finally it opened the last drops i stuck it sharply with the side of my fist and the dryer flew open to reveal a shallow space underneath a secret dryer what a watch there is still a secret dryer inside this dryer one more dryer is kept located inside this dryer there was something in there some material is found there what it could be i reached in and took out a small black tin box there is a box it was small and made of tin it was a small tin box so look care to the top of it there was a piece of lined note paper and written on it in shaky handwriting there was a paper it is so kept and some letters are written in it what are they james lost at home received january 25 1950 to be buried with me when the time comes so the letter was written by zim it was his lost letter and it was written on 25th of january 1915 i knew as i did it that it was so wrong of me to open the box but curiosity got the better of my scruples actually somebody's box is shall be open but scruples made me open it here they found a new world scruples what do you mean by scruples as you are you be yes scruples means feelings that make you hesitate to do something wrong so that is the meaning of scruples is at the box so there was an envelope envelope means a kind of cover the address read mrs j macpherson 12 copper beaches bridport dorset dorset is a village right so it's a it's an address an address is imprinted there i took out the letter and unfolded it it was written in pencil and it dated at the top december 26 1914 then slowly and steadily i opened the letter it was written in pencil so on which day the letter was written december 26 1940 dear students we shall end the story at this point the rest of the story will be continued tomorrow but before taking leave of you let me ask you some questions regarding the passage that has been studied so far and Uh, are you ready ready to give the answers for my questions yes sir then get ready pavani please come here pavani what does the narrator want to buy roll top desk sir good roll top desk good answer yashashini the roll top desk was made of oak oak yes oak wood satish was the roll top desk costly or cheap cheap very good go bangotri Who wrote the letter? Jim wrote the letter. Sir. Yes, Jim wrote the letter. Nice answer. Vijay, on which day Jim's last letter was received? January twenty-five, nineteen fifty. That's fantastic answer. Bindu Madhavi, what was there in the tin box? An envelope was there in tin box. Very nice answer. Fantastic. Good answer. Dear students, that's all about the part of the story discussed so far today. and rest of the story will be continued tomorrow shall i take a leave of you yes, sir. Yes, sir. thank you